Hey there everybody, I thought it might be beneficial to do a quick demonstration video to show you how to set the M8000 series camera from Moultrie. Uh, the one we're looking at here is the M8000. If you're watching this video wanting to see how to set the M8000i, they're the exact same camera. The setup's going to be the exact same. The only thing that's different is going to be the flash uh, that the cameras use. So this camera is a little bit difficult to set up. Once you do it once, you figure it out, it's pretty easy, but compared to some of the cameras that have a viewing screen, uh, it's a little bit harder because your screen is so small. So just navigating, it's a little bit different than some of the cameras that are on the market right now. Um, your SD card goes on the side here. There are some plugins for your USB out and an electrical outlet or solar panel. You've got your threaded bottom on the camera if you're wanting to use a, a mount. Uh, this camera does run on eight AA batteries. There's some cameras on the market that say that, but then if you throw four batteries in the camera, it'll work. That's not the case with this camera. You have to have eight AA batteries in order for the camera to power up. So there's a couple of different uh, levels down here where your switch is. There's an off, there's an aim, there's a custom start, and there's a quick start. The only thing you're really gonna ever do with a quick start is you do have to go here to set your time. So notice I went to quick start, and there's two options. I can press the right button and do start. I can press the left button and go to options. Well, if I go to the options under quick start, the only thing I have there is the date and time. If you try and press the up or down arrow, the only thing it's going to do is change your, your month. And then you, know, you can press OK and it'll go to your date, so on and so forth. When you're done, there's no other options under there. You can start the camera. So basically what this is, is this is for, some, for somebody maybe who's not... Uh, quite as techy, they just want to throw a camera out there and get it working. If you put it on quick start and you start the camera, you're going to use whatever the default settings are for Moultrie. And Moultrie's default settings are motion detection, 30 second delay, three triggered pictures, uh, just on picture mode, and, and it uses high sensitivity. So if you do quick start, those are the only settings you can you can use. If you want to actually adjust your settings, you'll just move the arrow down here to custom start. And you'll notice under custom start, you've got some different uh, categories that you can adjust. There's motion detect, there's time lapse, there's motion and time lapse, info strip options, photo options. So there's a lot more features down here that can be adjusted. And I'm not going to go through all of them, but I might walk you th just through some of the basics. So you'll notice, let's go under system options. This is a high level category. There's a right and a left arrow. If you hit the arrow, it basically takes you into the settings of that category. So under system options, you can reset the camera to factory default, you can upgrade the firmware, you can put in a program security code, and that's it. If you go under memory options, you can set whether or not you want the camera to overwrite the oldest picture that it took, or whether you want it just to quit taking pictures whenever the memory card's full. Uh, you can erase all your images, and that's it. So you'll see each of these categories has its own little settings that pertain to that category. So photo video options, you can set your video length here. One thing I will say about this camera, it doesn't have a lot of uh, options for video length and for delay. So for example, video length, um, you can set it to 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, and that's it. And that's fine, like in my case, 30 seconds is fine. But there's some cameras on the market where I can do 30 seconds or I can do 10 seconds. You know, there's some cameras out there that let you specify, I want 22 seconds or I want 23 seconds. You know, maybe 30 is too long and 10 is not long enough. Uh, the Moultrie camera doesn't give you uh, quite those specific options like some of the other models out there. But like I say, in my case, 30 seconds is fine. You can set your video quality. You can do uh, set whether or not you want motion freeze on. The size of your pictures, the 20, you know, 20 megapixel. 8 megapixel or 4 megapixel, all the way down to 2. So anyway, you'll just go through those settings and you press menu to get back to your, min to, to your main categories. And you can go on through everything else. Um, so I'll just go through one more. So info strip options. Do you want your temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius? Do you want the info strip on or not? You can rename your camera, so on and so forth. So it's pretty easy. All you're going to do, go through all your uh, settings. Whenever you have your camera where it's ready to go, all you're going to do is press the right arrow here to start it. And what it'll do is it'll give you kind of a quick summary of what your camera's set on. I'm set on one shot, 
photo and video. My battery life is at 40%. That's how many pictures I've taken. And um, basically, it starts delaying from this point on, and it'll trigger the camera for you. And uh, you put your camera out like my display, I'm down to eight seconds, and then the display is going to cut off, and the camera will be operational. When you're done with your camera, all you do is press it off, and uh, that's how you cut it off. So anyway, that's just a quick run through of how the setup works on the camera. If you got any questions or if you're having trouble with it, let me know. I'm uh, happy to talk to hunters and help you out in any way I can. Hope this helped. Thanks.